Hello, Tom Hallowell here, and today I'm going to teach you how to restring a guitar. Now, it's the thing I do not look forward to. It's probably the worst part of being a guitarist is the restringing part. So, um, I just want to make a quick video and see if I can actually restring it quick. It usually takes me about 20 minutes, but let's try and do it quick today. So, things you need when you're restringing a guitar. You're going to need a tuner for later on. You're gonna need some string cutters, and I'm plugged into my computer still. Um, some string cutters just like this, and you're gonna need some strings, so let me just go and get those strings. Uh, yeah, come on, come on, what strings? Where, where are they? Right, got the strings. Okay, so you've got your pliers, we got the tuner, and we've got some strings, and then we've got a little blue cloth, which I bought from the supermarket for one pound to clean the guitar. So the first step to restringing your guitar, and also stay tuned for the end of the video, because at the end, I'm gonna uh, show you a demonstration of my old strings and the sound of them, and then the demonstration of the new strings after I put them on, and see if it sounds any different. Um, I know it sounds a bit brighter, but let's find out. Okay then, so, doo -doo -doo -doo. the first step is to take all the strings off. Come closer. And how we do that is just detune, just like that. Ah, just, just to mention, so, Right, um, some people will actually uh, restring all of them and some people will just restring one at a time. It depends on what style bridge you have. Can I see this over here? So if you have a bridge like this, that means you can take all the strings off and restring them, okay? But if you have a Floyd Rose bridge with a whammy bar, then you will have to restring it one at a time. So in my case, I don't, so I can restring all of them. So uh, let's just take them all off. You know what? I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use the pliers. These aren't very good ones. Oh no, they're rubbish. So you need to get good ones as well that cut. Um, yeah. Because if you. Oh! Okay, I've done it, done it. And obviously watch the sharp endings. But I don't know, how many, how many of you, you guitar players out there, if you are watching this as a guitar player, how many of you buy some strings and then like you don't even restring the guitar? It takes you like one whole month. Well, that's what I do. I buy strings and then in one month time, I still got them because I hate restringing. It's just, it's just a... You know what, I can't even do that. Um, but that's all right. We can take it off there. Awesome, so, finally, you know what, I had to stop that video because it took me literally like 10 minutes to do all those strings. So if you can beat 10 minutes, you're better than me. Um, we got all the strings off and um, the next thing is cleaning the guitar. We get our blue cloth and then we come. Quack. Don't walk, we go around. And then what we do is we get some water. Ooh, 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 ooh. And just to let you know, I'm not a professional at changing strings. This is from my, you know, 12 years of experience. I still don't know how to change strings great. And, um, yeah, when I get rich, <laughs> when I get lots of money, that will be the very first thing I do is hire someone to change the strings on my guitar because I don't like it, this job. Okay, so what I do is I just clean my guitar. You know, guitar deserves a clean art uh, when you're changing strings. And all I do is that, again, I'm not a professional. There's a lot of guys on YouTube who probably say listen you use this type of oil and you use this special cloth um, 
always use the microfiber cloth and some water and yeah, I don't know. To be honest, I'm not a techie guy. I just, I'm, I'm just in it to play guitar, you know. That's all I like doing is playing. I don't bother with any of the technical stuff. That's done. We put that on there and um, voila, that's step two. So step one is take your strings off. Step two is clean the guitar. Step three is put some nice strings on your guitar. Now I'm using Didario NYXL. They're like meant to be some super strings with special coating. Again, I'm not a tech guy, so I can't really explain why they're better, but apparently they're better. Um, they cost about £10, uh, maybe a bit more, maybe £12. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to open this pack of strings up. This fin, woohoo! Just throw it around. Here we go. Here we go. Then. Comes in a little plastic bag. These are our strings, so they should have different colours. Um, uh, but if you've got other strings, so if you're Ernie Ball or another brand, they will have a completely different layout. Um, but anyway, string six is what we call the E string, which is the thickest string. And all we're going to do with that is, it's probably the, it's probably the gold to be honest, the gold goes back up to me. Yeah, so they call this grass. To me, it's gold. Anyway, so what we do, this is how we restring a string, or restring a guitar. <laughs> um, what we do is we grab this end, hi-ya, and we pull it into the bridge. So the bridge is this part of the guitar, okay? Uh, I've got a stop tail bridge, so it goes through here, and then it goes onto this fin, called a saddle, I believe. And then that goes through all the way. Now, what we do is get the camera, follow it around. Do, 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 do. Okay. Then what we have is... Sorry, my saddle came. What we have is we have the tuning pegs. So what we do here is... Um, I don't know. I do it at a 90 degree angle. And what we do is we just pull it through the hole just like that um, awesome and then we leave it to be about this loose all I do is that push it down here and then tighten it uh, you know what I'm not good with clockwise or anti-clockwise um, so I'm tightening it like this <laughs> um, I'll put a picture up to show you what way it goes, but I believe it's... Is that clockwise or not? I don't know. Anyway, so you just do that. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now it should... That's it. It should play a note. Make sure this is all correctly in line. Now the tuning doesn't matter for now. Just get six strings on the guitar. Uh, we tune it afterwards. So yeah, I'm just finishing off this now. Um, but how's my guitar look? Show them the guitar. Look at that beautiful thing now. I tell you what, restringing I hate, but when you restring it, I just play guitar all day. I just love it so much. Okay, did you see that? Now, what that happens always happens with me when I'm restringing it. I don't know if it's because I'm doing something wrong or if it just is that strings the way they tighten as they tighten and you tune up and they go loose. But it always happens to me. Anyway, so this is the final process. So, listen, step one is taking the strings off. Step two is cleaning the guitar. Step three is restringing the guitar. Step four is cutting all of these parts and then tuning. Okay? Um, 
and then obviously playing as well. So we're guitar players and you know, we need to spend more time playing guitar, not sorting out silly stuff like this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is tune my guitar. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna make a separate video. 